<coughs> Bonjour à tous. Um, in this video, I'm going to uh, teach you how to speak the French comme français. Sometimes when uh, the American speak uh, France, français, uh, does not sound good to my ear. Par exemple, Jo, when she speak the French, it does not sound good to my ear. And for all of those who are new here, I'm completely American, 100%. I'm from Indiana. Like I can, I can only play for so long. I did a year in Paris. <clears throat> then I met somebody and was in a relationship with them for six years who was French, Parisian. And so now I've been going back and forth from Paris to Los Angeles and uh, that's how I speak French. Let's do it! Know your French go-to sounds. It's like this. Oh, oh la la. Ooh la. Got it? Language is not just word, 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 word. It's expressions, it's what's happening in between the words, it's the hand movements, it's everything. Know your oohs from oohs. Oo is a very French sounding sound. Um, in English, we don't have it. That's why it's hard for us. Vous avez déjà vu le film? Have you already seen the movie? Vous, you all, avez déjà vu, have already seen. Vous and vu. Form your mouth like you're about to go in for the worst kiss of your life. Oo, and then push out the oo. Oo, vu, du, cu. <laughs> that means ass. I'm sorry, this is probably in French classrooms. Take for example the sentence, do you have everything? Tu and tu. Tu, a, tu. If you're an American, you might be pronouncing them the same way, and you gotta, you gotta can't, you came nah. Know the difference between si and oui. It's in response to a negative question. Would you like some wine? Oui, oui, je veux bien. Say you decline the wine. The waiter's gonna say, ah, vous voulez pas de vin? Then you change your mind and you're like, oh wait, yes, I do want some wine. Ah, en fait, si. It's no longer we, because you're in response to a negative question. You don't want any wine? Yes, I do. So C and we both mean yes, but in English it's the same word. It's yes. Do you want wine? Yes. You don't want wine? Yes. See how in English it's like we should have another word because it's confusing otherwise? C is yes, I do. As Americans, we are made fun of for always saying like. It's a helpful word, okay? Genre is the word for like. Ah, je sais pas moi, genre on peut aller au ciné, on peut... Genre on peut aller prendre un verre. Genre, 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 genre. Add un to your sentences. Oh, did you see Black Panther? Ouais, c'est un bon film, hein? Ah, c'est toi qui aimes Black Panther, hein? It could be in response to a question. Instead of, huh? Like the American way. Hein? Hein, pardon? Ah oui, hein? Ah bah non! Tu t'es abonné à la chaîne des Ménageaux? Ah bah oui, hein? Bah, it's the attitude in French that makes French such a like sexy and powerful language. Instead of just responding to things politely and conservatively, like ah oui, no, oui, no, oui, non, throw in the bah before. Bah oui, ah bah non, bah oui, bah non, bah oui, bah non. Like they're sure of everything they say and be sure of what you're gonna say. I've seen this happen many times at dinners. People will get really riled up and then two seconds later they're like giving each other bisous and walking out the door. I once took a phonology class here in Paris. One thing that I remember from the class was that English speakers, when they speak another language, were so used to using our consonants like P's and B's, P and bl, plumber. See how like plumber, there's like air coming out of your mouth? Or turtle, air coming out of your mouth. In other languages, especially French, it's a lot more like la table. Notice how it's not la table, la plume, not la plume. There's a difference between the way we pronounce consonants in English and in French, in French just like tone it back, which is a general rule for Americans coming to France, like, tss, tss, tss. like I'm only like this in this apartment, when I'm out there, I'm like <laughs> Also, real quick, we made that one video called How to Sound Cooler in French, it's still very accurate Those little things, like, instead of saying, like, nous habitons aux états unis it's better to say on habite aux états unis Je ne parle pas français, say je parle pas français, continue Ums are so American, ums Genre, um, uh, um, gotta get rid of it. It's now, uh, uh, comment? J'ai pas compris. Uh, bon, um, uh, ouais, je sais pas. Our mouths are like this when we're speaking English in French. It's all through the first ellipse. Je parle français, je viens des États-Unis. En fait, je viens de l'état qui s'appelle l'Indiana, qui est au centre des États-Unis. Uh, y'a rien là-bas, sauf les gens sympas. A's are E, eh. O's are O. Oh. The vowels are what always give you away in another language and in French they're all cut short. In English we tend to just like throw it away like oh my god. Let me go get a Chipotle burrito. In French cut it short. The word and, eh, 
It's not A, it's E. Je parle le français et l'espagnol. Non, je parle français et espagnol. I want to finish this video by saying who cares if you have an accent? In fact, if you have an accent, it's probably gonna make you that much more of an interesting conversationalist because if somebody hears your accent, they're gonna ask where you're from and then you have an entire story of how you learned French, what you're doing in France or another French speaking country. Imagine if you just spoke the language completely fluently, like how less interesting would that be? Accents are freaking adorable. They're cute, they're sexy. Like the accent is what makes you cool. Like. Yeah, you're not French, but you learned the language, so let me tell you about that. As long as you can get yourself understood, you're good. Comment below what other tips you have um, to sound more French. Commentez en bas les autres astuces que vous avez pour nous les anglophones pour prononcer bien la langue française. Bisous, moi, moi. Ciao, ciao. Le français est une très belle langue, mais seulement si tu es français et tu habites à Paris.